All right, welcome everyone to another Radio Free Cybertron review. I'm your host, Diecast, and here we have Armada Megatron from the G1, or from the G1, from the Combiner Wars. Quick look at the packaging. It is a black box with Transformers on the side. Combiner Wars Armada Megatron. On the side here you get a nice picture of Armada Megatron. On the back you get a bio and you get the product shots. Right there. So that's it for the packaging. Pretty standard. I do like the black packaging when you actually go in the store if you're lucky enough to see these on the shelf. Uh, they're very striking. You you definitely your eyes go right to them uh, because it's so different from what you know the packaging they've been using with the previous series. Uh, in the box you have the instructions, of course. Both ways it looks like. Then you have the little uh, card right here. And you get a nice picture of Megatron. And then you also have his uh, weapons, which do split into two pieces. Uh, they are just purple plastic. I really like this one. It's a nice, really nice laser gun kind of uh, looking. Really like the look of that. Uh, and this gun's not too bad either. I mean, uh, normally one gun will suffer when you do a combined gun like this, but both these guns actually are pretty nice. So I would actually have any of the, you know, any of my deluxes holding them, and they would be the perfect size for them. Uh, and his missile, which just plugs into the bottom of the cannon right here. And this is pretty much how he comes right out of the package. We'll do a 360 on him. You can see the treads on his back. Uh, and people are showing an alternate transformation where you lift the treads up and split them. And that kind of gives him the treads on his back. like uh, More like the Armada toy. So there is that. I actually kind of like this a little bit better than the backpack he had. Um, first off, it doesn't stick out as much, and second off, it just makes him a little bit more, a little bit bigger and more menacing. Um, his head is on a swivel and a mushroom, so you have the 360. He looks down a good amount, uh, and he also looks up. And I love the face sculpt on him. It's very menacing. Try and get this in here real quick. You can see very nice menacing, sort of evil look on his face. Um, it did not come with any stickers, so you actually lose the ability to put the Decepticon logo on the center here. I think the G1... Uh, the Decepticon logo was there, um, and then if you wanted, the Autobot was a sticker that you could put over it. I'm not positive on that, because I, I don't have that figure. Uh, this one was the easier one to get, and this is the one I actually wanted. The G1 to me, the G1 representation to me, uh, just kind of looks a little off. Um, and there's some other Megatrons that I have in my collection or that are going to be in my collection with the uh, the X-Transbots Megatron, uh, a Polyon, not Megatron, that I'm that, um, definitely, you know, looks a lot more uh, like the Megatron I want from G1. Now, whether the quality is going to be good on that X-Transbots one, that's another story, but just didn't feel the need to pick up that Megatron. So, as far as articulation... His arms do rotate, or do, you know, swing out about that far, kind of strangely. Um, you get a ratcheted 
bend at the elbow about 90 degrees with a swivel. Then on this side, same thing. These arms are, you know, pretty weird how they how they kind of go out, but it works. You got rotation here also, um, and it does move a little bit forward uh, due to transformation. So, and then the cannon, you can hold it straight out. You can also flip it around, which is what I prefer to give it the more flat cannon at the end. The only thing that messes up is now the missiles at the back, if you were going to use that. But for display purposes, I think this looks uh, looks a lot better. Then you can also move it out of the way. That way you still get the elbow bend. Which is really nice. Really nice. really like this Armada Megatron Combiner Wars figure. Um, and this is the one that's sitting on shelves, which is just amazing to me. I mean, you're going to get the same articulation. Everything's pretty much the same. I just like the look of this one. So, and I'm not that, uh, I don't remember Armada Megatron as vividly as I remember G1 Megatron. So this could be a bad representation of him, and I probably wouldn't notice. Uh, but it looks like a pretty good representation to me. So... Uh, back to transformation, he does have waist rotation, and he also has a ratchet both outward and backwards and forwards. He does have a ratchet at the knee, but he can only go back about that far because of the treads. He does not, does not go forward at all, uh, the knee. And then the feet are, they have a little bit of wiggle in them, but it's not really enough to call it ankle tilts. Like if you uh, click these legs out one each, uh, he is going to sit on the edge uh, of the inside of his foot. So, but still, he's still stable and it still looks like it, you know, a nice pose for him. Definitely a powerful powerful Megatron. So, let's do a size comparison real quick. Here he is with Combiner Wars Drag Strip, the only Decepticon Combiner Wars figure, deluxe figure that I have so far. And then, also, here he is with Bombshell. Which, they, they look really nice together. I mean, there's a lot of purple going on, so they, uh, they would sit on the shelf, in my opinion, really well together. Let's get them out of the way. And of course, as I shouldn't even have to say, the guns will plug into his hands. So, you could have even have a gun in each hand. But, this gun kind of looks small for a leader class figure. This one's not too bad. I guess uh, combined, though, that kind of works for a leader class. So, unplug this, and now let's get into the transformation. And like always, I'm going to go from whatever mode it was in the box. Let me put these treads back together. And we'll go from whatever mode it was in the box uh, to the opposite mode. That's actually how he comes in package with his treads down on his back, uh, which you can do. Uh, I just prefer the treads up, just personal preference. So first thing you're going to do, you're going to pull these arm panels down to cover the hands. Hands do have a swivel too at the at the wrist, just so oh, it doesn't swivel at the wrist. It's a bad figure. I don't want to make you guys think this is a bad figure. So straighten out the arms. Open the chest. Kind of, it's on a double hinge here. So you kind of pull up that double hinge and get that out of the way. That will actually cover up his face. And you can pull these arms up. 
and this tank uh, gun actually goes in the center and then it tabs in. Now we'll come down to the bottom of the figure, bring this piece around, leave it like that for now, and then the legs kind of hyperextend the wrong way, come around just like so. Forgot to straighten out the feet, straighten out the feet, and then these tab into the side of the body just like that tab those in bring these tank treads split them pull them up a little bit and then they just rotate around and this is a, a super easy transformation I think on the package it lists it in 15 steps which is no lie. Uh, I, I don't even think you need instructions for this guy. He's pretty simple. And then this piece back here, which was his crotch piece, just tabs in between the two legs. Just like that. Just make sure you have everything tabbed in, which it looks like we do. His turret does turn. It can do a full 360. And then the last step in the transformation is just to pull the rest of the turret right out. The rest of the cannon or whatever you want to call it. Now the nice thing too, when you, when you do collapse this, the, the button to fire the missile is still you're still able to have access to that. So, and then he does have some Minicon ports on here, and he has the couple holes to plug the guns in wherever you want. I'm just going to plug them into the top there. And there you have uh, Armada Megatron in tank mode. Now his treads do roll. They are rubber. Uh, the back even has slots here that they the the tread goes into so really nice job on these treads and of course like i said all this is going to be same the same for the G1 version if you decide to go for that megatron uh but i really would recommend this guy he's really nice and i think he makes a great uh modern day version of armada megatron Thanks for watching, and uh, make sure you guys like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. Check out the Chosen Prime if you want to order this in the description below, and we'll see you next time.